Gets put in. Milano deflected wide. Skitters off the board. Bicycle in! And the game is over! What a goal by Tattoo! Stand already. Hey, are we going to see that again? Let's see it again. He is uh, one of the most iconic names in arena soccer history. Second all-time score ever. Tattoo now wants you to shine as a star on his team. He is the head coach of the Mesquite Outlaws, a brand new pro indoor soccer team, and he is holding tryouts. Hello, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You've been a pleasure already. We've been chatting during the commercial breaks. We're so happy well, to have you on you. midday. And for people who don't know, how long have you been in Dallas? You've been here a while. Since 1983. So this is home to you, really? Yes. Okay, and so fans who remember you back in the day, I'm talking the sidekicks, um, this, this has come, come a long way. What's, what is the indoor soccer skill set versus the outdoor soccer skill set? Well, the outdoor, we play in a bigger field. Mm -hmm. So you have the time and the space. You have a lot, okay? So the indoor, because it's a small area, so it's, it's, it's much faster game. It's a lot of reaction, it's a lot of action. So that's the, 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 the number one, you know, difference. And so for people who perhaps have a certain skill set, I mean, does outdoor translate to indoor um, soccer if, you, if you're good at one versus the other? Not necessarily, because sometimes the outdoor with the time and the space, you know, you, you, you learn how to play a little slower. Mm -hmm. And indoor is a fast pace. So there are some players who play outdoor, they're very good, but they cannot play indoor because it's too fast for them. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, if you're not a huge soccer fan already, but I know we have a lot here in the North, North, North Texas area, you see you see higher scoring. You see more, more action going on, um, definitely done by the goalie. Well, and, and that's also the, the, the other difference, because when you watch the outdoor, you have to love the tactical, mm. you know, the setup and all that kind of, so it's a zero-zero game and outdoor can be a great game. Okay, if you know the game. Now indoor, man, if you walk in and you, you're gonna get a hot dog or something and you come back, you might miss a goal or two. <laughs> it's just a lot of action, a lot of scoring. So you see nine eights, ten nine, nine six. Where the outdoor is normally one on one, two to one. So it's a low scoring game in the outdoor. The, the indoor is is a lot of action, a lot of goals. So how did the outlaws how did this come about? This is exciting for, for Mesquite and really for North Texas. You know, to be honest with you, I was surprised, you know, the rodeo, playing soccer in the, yeah, in the yeah, rodeo right? place. Is, uh, but, you know, the, the, the group involved is, is a good group. Mm -hmm. You know, they have the financial backing and they have the organization behind. So, uh, you know, they contacted me, says, well, you want to give it a try? You know, I said, I retired, I'm, you know, it's over. But then I said, well, I'll do it, why not? They pulled you back in. That's it, well, it's a good challenge. And it's, it's Mesquite, is it's not much going on in that area. So I think, you know, hopefully with the, the, the influence of the Hispanic who love soccer, you know, it will be successful. And hopefully we can put a good team together also. So you're looking everywhere for great players. So there could be some here. You're looking all over the country, all over the world even. What right. do people need to know who are going to come out to, to try out? Well, right now we're, we you know, we want to have the international flavor. We'll okay. look players and we're possible, possibly going to bring a Brazilian goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. We have already two or three Mexican players, you know, we're close to announce. So we'll have, you know, that flavor and we, and we want the local flavor. Mm -hmm. And we want, you know, the kid who comes in, the excited, the passion and the love for the game and be able to, to play. Because I think the, the connection with the fans and being local is very important. Now, is something like this a full-time commitment? Or is this like a part-time deal where they can where they balance regular job too, or is this their number one job? Uh, for us, will be their number one job. Mm. We definitely, we we can work around if if you have another job and you, it's a good income, but uh, or number one, we want to just to be professional, and run a, like a, a professional organization, and we want to be successful and on the field and entertain. What is it like going from player to coach? I mean, I know you've done this, but what is it like for you? Difficult. <laughs> 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 because, uh, you know, as, as a player, you know, you, you're doing something and you depend on yourself. As a coach, you depend on the other guys. They have mm. to do what you say. So it's, it's, it's a little harder, but, you know, it's, it's part of the, the, the business. Well, we're rooting for you. Larry, especially being a Mesquite guy over there. Um, if you want to show off your skills and be part of the Outlaws, tryouts are a week from tomorrow, August 27th at the Inwood Soccer Center. There will be two sessions, 10 o'clock and noon, one to three. Each is limited to 30 participants and the cost is 50 bucks per player. You'll also get a t-shirt and two tickets to the home opener. You can head over to mesquiteoutlaws.com to register. They're looking for top talent. It was a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you very much.
Thank you for having me. I look forward to watching you on the sidelines, too. <laughs> I have a feeling you get kind of yes. crazy. Excited, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, coming up.